Okay, now let's take an in-depth look at the Brunel loops. And first of all, let's look at the various categories. Again, you have construction kits and dev kits. Um, but let's just jump into some of the extreme warped Brunels. And the first one I have loaded here is called Alarm Hi-Hats with a mod wheel uh, map to this. So this is the exact same eDNA engine. And what we can look at, or let's just have a listen here. So these different blue things down here, uh, different sections, have different um, rhythms. So that's rhythm one. And these are all performed. Kind of an Indian rhythm there. Some weird polyrhythms if you play multiple octaves. Now. Let's just uh, see what else we can do with this. First of all, let's see if we can wobble it. Um, remember, you have to increase this. That had some interesting effects. Let's try some filtering. Increase it. It does have some effect. Remember, we got the low pass and high pass. What you have to do is take all these ropes here in order to change it. And then you can drag down, get it just right. There. See, so I can put that on a MIDI CC, which will make everything a lot easier. And the same thing with the high pass. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's check the tune. And tune this a bit and trim it. Give you volume control. Offset. Pan it left and right. Um, this again, these are all the things for uh, the A, and this is for B. The only thing we can do is just change one of the presets here. Let's put a Appalachian dub bass in there. Plus, and you get really weird. I'm just gonna play with that rhythm. That's kind of neat. Um, again, let's look at, uh, so here's the, just a simple ADSR, so that'll increase the attack. Might not hear a lot of effects, but uh, the release, it would play a lot longer. Better for us. Uh, oh, there we go. So I'm taking my hand off the keyboard, it's still going. Yeah, and then uh, of course this decay and, and uh, sustain, uh, you Put that up and these are related it's okay and this is sustained again you probably won't hear the effects here but you can do that on a per patch basis on a per um bay bay a or bay b basis just bring in something else so we can hear how that sounds and mess around with a few of these other parameters let's turn on the oscillator here Remember, this goes between angry whatever, angry conversation, and squeaky filth. And it's automatically going between them, and you can speed that up. It's like some alien insect or something. Slow it down. These things also do stuff, like this will determine if you put it all the way there and all the way there, it'll go all the way to the right and all the way to the left in that case. And this determines where it starts. And then you've also got this uh, different envelopes here. It's more of a crossfade. And this one, it will start on the left and just glitch back. Might be good for something like this. That's kind of nice. Then you've also got uh, this one to start from the right. This one B. And this will uh, always end up in the middle if you do that, so when you lift. So it'll always reset itself to the center. Go into a little bit more here about the FX bay. So you're going to roll down here. Uh, these are really detailed. So these affect all the master effects. He's got a lot of them on here. So you can get a I think it's a convolution reverb where you can set all these various things. IR size, so on. 
that's the master. That'll affect just A. Then you've also got sends here. And if you put a send, if you turn the sends on, you can tell it, you can send delays, and which you can then control here. And you can do that on a bay by bay basis. And then also if you go back to here, this thing here, the after layer effects, that those are going to be affecting it now. If you've got that on, it's just going to be using those after layer effects, the aux effects. Now here's the other really cool thing is the motor effects. And I, I don't fully understand this, but basically if you select one of these and you say turn the phaser on, you can then assign that to the motor uh, section up here. And then from here, you can got a cutoff on there. But in order for that to really start working, you just bring those ropes up. Once again, you probably want to assign it to MIDI CC or something. To really hear it. And then you can take, uh, let's say, lo-fi. Let's go to all sounds and add lo-fi over here, to, or noise, this is an easy one to hear. Attach it to motor two. There you've got the noise. So this is a sound designer's dream over here. You've got all kinds of fun stuff that you can mess with without ever getting bored of any sound. Um, so let's just check a few other presets out. Um, these are the extremely warped Brunels. Let's try the organic ones. Uh, let's see, I like that one. Blast Fing. I guess that's finger. Really good for like uh, chase or tense scenes. They're fairly soft, so you might want to bring those up. That sort of thing. Um, let's try Mini Pan. Some of them are just kind of weird, but these, they're all, you know, <laughs> tea bag, uh, I guess, you know, tea break drums, trumpet fiddle, uh, just some weird stuff that they collected and then sampled. And... I'm going to oscillate that between a couple. And normally the way this works is you've got piano and then forte. So. I'll go from quiet to soft, to look from loud to soft and back. You can also, of course, mix and match. So you can put uh, something else over here, like the Silver Spoons piano. That's kind of neat. Yeah, that's awesome. So um, let's see what else we have. So let's try the Mutations Bottle Messer. Okay. Nice. the mod wheel here. So that's kind of neat. Um, once again, if you uh, go, for, these are milk urn bottles, two different styles. It's, actually, I like the louds, so we'll go to. Um, one shots piano. So you definitely want to mix and match them. I think you get more variety that way. But uh, let's try the last one here: the warped Brunel loops, bell waves. subtle effects but really nice things to add texture to your big orchestral sounds all right well i hope you enjoyed this brunel loop in depth and we talked a lot about the edna as well which is a really cool engine with all kinds of amazing features hope you enjoyed it